Hey guys, welcome to the Bourboneering YouTube channel. I'm your host, Austin. Let's get started. So I kind of talked about this before in my podcast. This is uh, a series where I'm going to be talking about single barrel whiskeys and reviewing them. Things that aren't really widespread, but I really want to get out there and give you reviews on and hopefully help you if your local store does a pick of a similar whiskey that you know what to expect. Obviously, single barrels by their definition are gonna be different and have different um, flavor profiles. It all depends on who you're picking, but this should give you a better idea of what to expect from the whiskey in general. But before we get to any of that, I'm happy to announce for the first time, Bourboneering YouTube channel and Bourboneering podcast has a sponsor. And that sponsor is somebody that I've talked about a hundred thousand million times already. Um, I'm just glad to be officially partnering with them, and that's the Baton Rouge Bourbon Society. Uh, I do that every time. Bourbon Society of Baton Rouge. It is be sober. I, I that's how I call I call them be sober Bourbon Society of Baton Rouge because it's just so much more fun. I'm gonna say that inversely, and I apologize. It's Bourbon Society of Baton Rouge. Anyway, so I'm super happy to be partnering with them. You'll be hearing some ads from them. Uh, and by that, I mean on YouTube, at least I'm going to be talking about them a lot more and mentioning, uh, how you can join, even if you're not in the local area, you definitely check it out on my podcast. I'll also be running ads and talking about it. Great guys are providing me with some awesome stuff. In fact, today is what they helped me, uh, provided me with the whiskey today. Uh, so in a little bit, I'll talk more about how you can join and how you can do all that. I just wanted to get that out there and thank you so much to David and everybody on the board at the uh, Bourbon Society of Baton Rouge. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so today I'm starting with a Whistle Pig 15 pick uh, from a store in New Orleans. It is River Ridge Discount. This bottle is called the Louisiana Sportsman Blend. You see the fun sticker here. Uh, Whistle Pig 15, it's hand bottled on the Whistle Pig Farm. Uh, it's aged in Vermont oak. And it's, or sorry, it's finished in Vermont oak straight rye whiskey. This one is 113.6 proof. There's 136 bottles in this batch. Um, really cool label. I really love it. So, the and it's even got a cool cap. The 15 is very cool. Whistle Pig, obviously I've done uh, Whistle Pig 10 picks before. They do picks of the 10. They do picks of their 12 year old world, which is where you can uh, choose your finish basically. Uh, similar to, ma to Maker's Mark kind of private select uh but whistle pig 15 is just another another uh iteration it's 15 years old and i believe it's finished in vermont oak um and it's just picking a single barrel of that so i'm gonna go through a review of that what i think of it uh see so you got a small pour I, don't, I got to take home the bottle but i only have a sample of it that's why i didn't just kill this whole bottle i promise but without further ado let's get let's get going here now i don't i'm not too familiar with river ridge they're a little ways from me but uh, people say this is a fantastic pick, so I'm excited to try it. Oh my gosh, okay. Oak, oak on the nose. Almost like a, I use this as my oaky example, wood for double oak, like the sweet oak flavor. But it's a rye, not a, not a whisk, not a bourbon. And it definitely has some whistle pig kind of eucalyptus, spearmint candy notes popping out behind the uh, the sweet oak. But it, oak is my favorite note in a whiskey. All right, let's give it a taste. Mmm. That wood, very, very oaky. A lot of wood there. But it's not, if this was a sweet, sweet bourbon, I might would think it's a little over oaked but you get that spearmint eucalyptus note that kind of refreshes your palate. And I think it balances really well with the heavy wood. It's not as much sweet oak as it is, you know, like a double oak thing would be, as it is a uh, a kind of heavy, almost tannic wood, mm, but it's good. It, it ends with a sweet note, the spearmint candy, spice, pretty nice long finish. Um, not super, super long, let's go back another sip. Hmm. Counting the finish here. Pretty long finish. 
real minty. Not much oak on the finish. I mean, it's there. It's definitely there. But it's not near as overpower overpowering as on the front of the palate when you first take a sip. All right, let me give it a score here. The nose, a delicious nose. I'd say I'll give it a 3.5 on the nose. Um, taste. You can see the, the process behind my notes here. It's very, so how I'm thinking about this, a 2.5 is something that's decent. I would think of an example of a 2.5 would be like Jim Beam. That'd be a 2.5 whiskey on the taste, on the nose, and on the the finish. Uh, not bad. Oh, maybe a little lower than 2.5 on the finish for there, but you know, not bad, but average. So anything above the 2.5 is great. Anything below that is not so good. Taste, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a four. It's really, it keeps you going back. It's interesting, it's fresh. It does not drink like 113 proof. Definitely has that oaky oakiness on the front, but it takes you through a journey and really refreshes your palate on the back end. So it, I don't mind that at all. I'm gonna give it a four. It's pretty dang good. And the finish, it's a nice finish. It's medium to long. I'll give it a 3.5. Um, so that's where I'm at on my rankings. Let me pull up a calculator so I can give you the average because I can't do that in my head. Y'all really get to see the, the, the pudding here. This is how I do all my ratings on uh, my podcast. 3.5, 3.5 plus 4. 3, that's 3.6. So 3 and 2 thirds out of 5. Great score for this. These tend to be pricey. I don't know the exact MSRP on this one, but I can tell you it's in within mid to upper 100. So um, 150 plus maybe more than that, I'm not sure. I know it's about 120 for 12 year picks at MSRP. So I'm assuming this is gonna be up closer to 200, 300 maybe. Not near as expensive as the, I don't think at least, as the Boss Hogs. But, and I could be very wrong on that. I don't know if I'm buying these out of pocket unless it's for a very, very special occasion. But it's delicious, it's really, really good. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this, so. So, like I promised, I'm gonna talk about the bourbon side of here. Um, and then I'm going to give you some more tips on if you see these in the, in the, in the field, in the wild. Hey guys, Austin here. I want to talk about my very first sponsors, my good friends at the Bourbon Society of Baton Rouge. This is a group that I've been a part of for almost two years now. Uh, fantastic group. At, I just want to talk about some of the benefits you have for joining. Very first thing, you get thrown into this community of whiskey lovers that will take you wherever you're at in your whiskey journey. Whether you're a beginner, novice, or an expert. We always welcome discussion, questions, and you just meet a lot of great people. I made a lot of friends in this group in the past couple of years. That's that's the biggest part of it. Um, but on top of that, at our event, all of our events support a local charity. Uh, there's at least four large events that support local charities. Uh, one, the biggest one I can think of is the Christmas raffle supporting Toys for Tots. We've uh, we're doing an event that supports uh, local Alzheimer charity. Things like that. It's just a fantastic way to give back and enjoy great whiskey and meet some awesome people. The next biggest thing to me would be the barrel picks you get to be a part of uh, and get a chance to buy that no one else will get a chance to buy. I have uh, 10 or 11 sitting on my shelf right now from the past couple of years, or yeah, since December 2019. And there's a lot more coming this year. This is just an example, one of my favorites. Uh, this is a Woodford Double Oak pick. Uh, all our stickers you can see are comic book uh, Marvel themed, fantastic art, fantastic bottles, real uh, collectors, but they they taste delicious. So ending with here, I want to talk about the discounts and kind of the other advantages to the group. Uh, like I said, you already get access to these barrel picks, but you get discounts at our local partner bars, such as the Lost Cove or Hayride Scandal. Uh, you get discounts on store picks for our partner stores. That's Oak Point Fresh Market, Hocus Pocus, Alexander's in the local area here. There's a few more coming online that um, I don't know if I can talk about yet or not, but uh, it's just, it's a great way. You, you pay for your $50 membership in those discounts alone, let alone access to the barrel picks and the most important part, the community. So I just really want to encourage you to look into it. If you're feeling joined, like I said, it's $50 a month, uh, $50 a year, excuse me, $50 a year. Uh, and to join, just go to bourbonbr.com slash join. That's bourbonbr.com slash join.
Thanks for sponsoring Bourbon Society of Baton Rouge. And thank you all for watching this video. Cheers. All right, so these Whistle Pig 15s, what should you do if you see it on the shelf? One, realize it's gonna be a high price point. Real, know your budget. If you don't wanna spend $100, $200 on a bottle of whiskey, it's not for you. But let's say you know you have the disposable income and you're looking for one to pick out. Would you pick this or would you pick you know another bottle around that price? If you trust the store that picks it, get this store pick. Um, there, this and their 12-year store picks are amazing if done right. Uh, Whistle Pig makes great stuff, so I highly recommend picking it up if you have the money and you want to spend. And I'm not saying buy every single one you see on the shelf, but if you have the money to spend on a, you know, an extra bottle, a very very fancy bottle, then check that out. Comes in a nice box. I don't have the box with me. Very beautiful topper. I don't know if y'all can see that. Um, not quite as cool as the Boss Hog bottles, but it's still a great display. Great thing to have on the shelf, especially when you get a cool sticker on it. But that's all I got for this, guys. Thanks for watching. Sorry about the technical hiccups. See y'all next time. Cheers.